so guys in the last video we can see that we have already installed this package called axios and that's where that's what the point where we left off and now in my root of the application I'm gonna create a new folder called services so that's how I structure my project so that any time any point of time if I need to access something else I can create another instance but for now this our default instance will do just fine for us so this will be our JS file and I'm gonna import axios from axios and I'm gonna create a new axios instance so I'm gonna say const API equal to axios dot create and within that uh, we are gonna create another folder in our SRC so where are we gonna store our constants and in our constants I'm gonna create a new file called index.js so the base URL which we're gonna hit from our endpoint let me quickly increase it go back FILS this is our project which will be cloning it from the repository so I'm gonna say is upload server and now I have to just spin it up so for that npm run start and this will start our localhost server which, with the APIs which we'll be accessing and this is running on port 4000 so now we can access them over here by simply saying let me say const export const from here and I'm gonna say base URL equal to HTTP localhost 4000 slash API so this will be our host and now we go we are going to import that over here so that will be using as a default sir uh, default endpoint for this our API constant that we have created and we will export here from there default and we will export our API constant that we have created so const okay so that's showing error just because we haven't finished up our this constant and we'll bring it and since we have defined that thing inside the index.js file that means it will be automatically picked up will be picked up if I write base URL it's showing me so now to define a default base URL of an application we it takes in property and for about more you can get into the documentation of axios and that will be our base URL that we brought in from our constants so I'm gonna save it but uh, since the keys as well as the values of our same name we can get rid of one since we are using ES6 that gives you a liberty of the, doing that so our API service is ready and now in this one I'm gonna create a container so within that con I have already created that container and within that I'm gonna create a form so I'm gonna give it a row and within that row I'm gonna give it a class uh, column of let's say MD6 or yeah 6 that will be fine and for other small screens I will give it 12 and I want to make it center so I'm gonna make it a class MX auto and within that I'm gonna give a card so within that card we'll be having a card header and within that header I'm gonna say uh, h3 that will be of our class name actually text primary and also gonna give a font weight of bold and then also font I think that should do upload your files and if I save it now we go to our comp this part and now we can see our whole component is looking very nice and decent so now what I'm gonna do just give it a little bit of margin from the top so within that I'm also gonna give this container a class of p5 so from the top we have a five paddings padding of five units and I also look like quite a bit of a styling so I'm gonna use ptn first of all I just don't wanna use I don't like giving borders so border zero pixels that's important okay so there will be no border actually it should be border radius so for our buttons that's fine for card component 
I can directly go to my GitHub repository. I couldn't remember that. So I will simply say github.com slash nannybandy1. That's my GitHub handle. And from there in my repositories, I'm gonna get look for one which I have created. So that was my context. Actually, I, this was the project, very good project by Brad Traversy, which I, I, when I was in the process of learning this React thing, this project I did, and I created my own styling. So I'm gonna use that basically for the CSS. Okay, so for the card, we have a padding. Actually, we don't need padding, we need just border radius and nothing else. Uh, so actually, I'm just looking for this box shadow. I keep on forgetting the value, but you, if you have the repository, you can always copy and paste that code over there. So now if I go and show you my this component, this has a little bit of a depth around this card. So that's now for us. Uh, let me give it a margin top of two pixels so that everything is aligned center properly. So it looks nice. And now inside the card, I'm gonna give, create a card body and that will hold our form. So I'm gonna say form and that doesn't have any kind of action inside for now. Okay. And now we are going to work, start working with our uploader component. So in my uploader.js, with this div, actually it won't be uploader. It will be a single uploader. First of all, we are going to work with single uploader. And I'm going to give it a class name of form group. So basically, this will be grouping of a form. And with that, there will be a label. So for that, I'm going to get some props because we are going to make it as much modular as much possible so that we can just use this component at any point of time. So I'm gonna say const will extract ID label as well as I think that would do for now props and this will get it from the props so for HTML I'm gonna use ID and then I'm gonna render that ID over here so label okay and once we are done with that uh, let me give it a class name of text primary font weight of bold and font size that will be SM and now let me save it and let me separate out on the next line so that it looks quite formatted So this is our React uploader component, and let me let me bring that from here into our main uh, main app.js file. So I'm going to import that from our components, and from that component we'll go to our uploader. And I think I made a misspelling mistake. So from our uploader, let me rename it. Uh, in that we have our uploader uploaders so I'm gonna render this uploader comp single uploader component over here I'm gonna paste that and this is gonna take ID field so that ID will for now will be single upload you can make it anything it will work just fine for us as is the label uploads single file and now if I save it now we'll see our label over there and it's looking quite nice but so far we haven't dealt with our input fields so now it's time to go ahead and deal with our input fields so here I'm gonna create a, a basically an input of type text by default this will give you type text but we are handling with a file and also gonna give the class of form control Control and as I save it, you can see our file is there now. If I click on it, you can see our file input is ready to be working. And I also want to give it an ID, so that will be of ID whatever we have passed from there. 
Mm -hmm. And then what should we do? So let me give it a basically I'm gonna wrap this div so and this will be our uploader input. This will be our uploader input. This will be inside that. And I'm gonna actually not this thing. I think let me copy this is not cookie cutter video. I already know how to do this, but I love doing that way so that each time you look, everything is fine for us. And I'm gonna give it a style that upload a component and we'll give it a height of 100 pixels for now. And that would be important. And width also will be of 100 pixels. And that is again important. So now if I save it, this component will be just this much. But if I click anywhere in this one, we'll get our this component opening our form selection field, uh, file selection file selection field. So now it's time to go ahead and work work on our the mask thing, whatever we are gonna, so that it looks quite nice. So I can go to my this called flatty cons, flatty cons, and from there you can download this icon. Let me log in. It requires login. I don't know wh what the reason is behind that, but it asks me to log in all the time. And I'll look for file, upload, look for that. You'll get a nice icon. Just pick any one of them. I like this one. So I'm going to copy this. Actually, I can edit it also here. And I want to use this my standard color that we have. This one, I can copy this color. And I'm going to paste it over here. And then I'm going to download this in a PNG format. You can download any, any pixels, whatever you require, just download it. I'm going to put in my home directory, going to my projects. Then we have uploader project, react uploader, in SRC, uh, in components in uploader, I'm gonna create a new folder called IMG. Actually for now that's saved actually. So we don't have to worry. Let me create a new folder called IMG and I'm gonna drag that over here. And after this, I'm gonna make a IMG tag and that will be pulling out our this PNG file, so import upload icon, not icons, from our IMG and we look for our this name, so that's outbox.png and this will extract that from there and in SRC will pass that over here so basically I'm saying upload icon as as I save this now in our react you can see that icon is there so what I am gonna do is gonna create uploader mask so that will be uploader mask I know this is quite tiring going through this part I love doing CSS so that anything doesn't look much bad Upload icon. I'm gonna give it the alt text. And now if I save it, that's here. And now I'm gonna grab this upload mask from there. And I'm also gonna give the same height as well as the width of that. It. But I'm also gonna give a border. So border will be two pixels solid, uh, not actually solid, that will be dashed and it will be of hash CCC for now. You can rename it so now it looks fine but now you can see this has started making some issues so I'm gonna also copy this and give it a class name of load icon and gonna actually upload icon and then I'm gonna grab that 
using the class selector and in that I'll give it a height of let's say 20 pixels that is important and also uh, that's fine for now let's see how it looks so if I save it that's important upload icon actually I will save this thing and now you can see this looks got this just got into that I also want to give some border radius so actually to our uploader mask as well as this one so I'll just place a border radius and that will be 5 pixels and that is again important so if you want to override any kind of property that important keyword is gonna do that for you and now this looks quite nice so now we just have to move this icon into center so for that I can give it a class of D flex so we are gonna again use in flex boxes just the by content and that will be center and align items center so now if I save it this looks nice and now next part is to hide this part and to overlap this part with this one so the way we can do that is by giving it a property of uploader input we can simply say position and that will be an absolute position so this looks nice and now you can see that position is just behind that scene but if I just right now we just have to hide that so we'll simply say opacity and that will be turned to zero and now you can see that whole uploader mass is there but if I click on that it works just fine for us so now one thing I want to do is that's when I hover this uploader icon hover that thing I want to make it background to be the color to some kind of thing let's see if it works or not and the opacity let's say make it visible so I'm gonna make it one actually it will be hundred but it looks just fine yeah actually we don't need to do that hover thing for now but if you wanna look into that you can just look into the fix that thing so let me quickly make these things a little bit alignment and for now I'm just for the UI purpose I'm just gonna use uh, what do we say I'm gonna use a static image to render just next to that whatever that will be we'll be replacing later on for the file that we have uploaded so I'll look for images.google.com and we can fetch one image URL from there so let me put my favorite instructor that I have Brad Travis I'm gonna grab his URL copy image address and to set the state so that most of the heavy lifting is already done I'm gonna bring in new state and we want to define a piece of the state attached to this component and for that I'm using react hooks so we can use that part too and now we can simply say const uploaded img and set uploaded image and that will be our use state and we'll put that as a string inside that and now we can use this piece of state within this component anywhere so let me go ahead actually what I'm gonna do is gonna grab this part I'm gonna put it in a class of div and next to that I also wanna give it a class of class name actually not class uh, with a deep flex and that should do I think we have these parts and I want something next to that so let me quickly again grab that so this will be our uploader mask and everything will be here and next element will be our IMG 
and I'm gonna give it a source of this file whatever we have so we can get that by putting it over here upload an image I also want to give it a class name so basically this is starting showing some squiggly lines or the warnings and that class name will be IMG fluid so that will be obviously responsive and then thumbnail and as I save it now if I go to the react uploader you can see that image is there next to that and I just need a little bit of margin from the left so I can also get that ml let's say 2 for now 3 that's fine for us I think it's fine if I save it now you can see we have the image for now and let me make it on the separate lines using react standards so now we have to set that and I'm also going to define a couple of variables so I need some kind of progress bar which can track the progress how much part has been uploaded progress and we'll set that progress by using this hook use state and that will be initially set to zero then I also need something if the file is uploading or not so I'll simply say is uploading some kind of progress and set uploading again that will be use state and that will be initially a false so basically I'm gonna use a boolean value there uh, one more thing I would like to do is basically gonna get this height of 100 pixels whatever we have so that it aligns properly next to this one so upload it ing and I'm gonna grab this one from there save it I'm gonna paste it uploading image uploading images and that height will be 100 pixels that will be important and not 100 only 100 pixels and now if I save it this looks just nice to each other next to each other so now it's time to hook it up with our API and now if I go to here and I'm gonna attach a change function to this input so we can do that by simply saying on change and we're gonna call our on change method that we will define now so if I copy this part I'm gonna say const unchange equal to this will give a e and let me put that e console log statement so console dot log change event and let me see what do we have so in our target and now if I save it this would just work fine let me clear the console for now let me upload one and now you can see that event is getting there triggered and from that this target now we can simply say files so we are getting our files array from that so now if I click look for that there is one file list whole array is there so since it is a single uploader we are just interested in the first file that we have inside that so let me close clear that again and see one by one console statement so this is our whole file and that that we have to send on the backend in order to store it so that will do it now so for api's we have let's say we have already created our api instance so i'm going to bring it from our services so that's going to treat two up actually in our services and since it was defined our index.js file so it will be automatically picked up from there and we'll simply say let form data equal to new form data so this is a form data object and then we're gonna append ours so from our previous video you can simply see we were extracting the file on the server from the file key so we'll simply say file uh, actually not file form data dot append and we are extracting it from file so we are extracting that here too 
and then we're gonna append our file so we can append our file from there and we have appended now now it's time to make our API call so now API call is gonna take some time in order to make that request happen and save that image on the back end and generate so that means we need to wait this thing so for that we have to define it as an asynchronous function so this is gonna take some time we are defining it over here and let's see what do we have inside the data so it will automatically give me a response object but we are not interested in whole of the response object we are just interested in the piece of the data that we are getting and now we are destructuring that so I'm gonna say await api.post and the endpoint was there images slash single upload and now we'll pass our form data over here and now we will simply pass this form data object that we have created let me quickly copy this paste it over here so now it's time to look how we can integrate our progress bar but before doing that let's see we are getting some data back from there and the way we can do that we can put a console log statement response data and let's see what happens so our server is already running on let port 4000 and now we can see what do we get so let me quickly click and as I click this is what we are getting from our API and let's check if there's any issues on the server that file is uploaded or not so I can get into that folder directory from our home OBS uh, not OBS actually I'm using OBS so it's pretty obvious I just got into that folder and and my here we have uploaded project this was our server and remember we were creating into our public's uploads and now if I click here that file has been sent somewhere so it actually has a lot of files inside so let me quickly get rid of everything inside that so let me control a put delete and there's nothing inside so now is if I go ahead and upload another image and that file has uploaded if I click this link copy this link and open it a new tab we will find our image that I have uploaded just now and in my directory you can see that image is also generated so with that all set it's now time to look for the progress and how we can look for the progress yeah so the way we can do that uh, sorry about that guys because I'm explaining codes a lot way simpler format so firstly before making this API call we want to set this state is uploading to fall uh, true so the way we can do that we can pass that value and once we are done uploading the image we have to again set it back to false okay once we are done we are setting it back to false and initially we were using this Brad Travelers actually I would call him my programming that I have learned a lot of stuff from him obviously but for now I'm making it empty and this uploaded image is just gonna use this thing this whatever we are getting inside our single file response so if I click here we are getting this response actually what happened I don't know okay so we are looking it from the data so we'll set uploaded image function and within that I'm gonna pass that data dot image path I think that was fine for now for now it can handle any kind of thing and let's see what happens so for now obviously I'm gonna get some error and that would be mainly our template error the, not the not the console error it will be a template error because it cannot find any image because it was set to initially null here and that's why I couldn't render anything there so now if I upload one image as I put that now you are getting that image over here and now it's time to put our progress bar into the place so we'll put here a condition and actually we'll render only if 
our progress, that whatever we have inside our progress. Oh, let's make it, remove that first for now. Actually, we are gonna put a progress bar there. So I'm gonna comment this line. And instead of that, I'm gonna render my progress bar that we have. And we can use it from our React Stop library. So I can look for progress. You can click it. And I'm gonna use this basic progress bar. Or if you wanna use animated or something like that, you can always go ahead and use the bootstrap one standard bootstrap one, but for now this looks just fine for me. Let me quickly copy this. I'm gonna put it inside a div. I'm gonna paste it for now, and since now it has started showing the squiggly lines, that means we have to import it from React Strap library. Progress from our React Strap. And now I save it, and now you'll find that uploader is there. So let me refresh this page. I think this is a refresh issue. Yeah. So now you can see that progress is there, but it cannot show anything because this is using some Flexbox property, weird Flexbox properties. I love using Flexbox's Flex one. And also I'm gonna give it a class of Martian MX3, I guess that should do the job for us. So now it looks nice progress. So once the file is uploading, we want to render this. And if the file is not uploading, we want to render our image. So the way we can do that is simply uncomment that part. And let me wrap in a conditional. So in React, you can always use conditionals. So if is uploading is true, Actually, let me wrap this also in the conditional. So, is uploading, if it is true, we are gonna render this part. Otherwise, we don't wanna render anything there. Uh, let me, for now, let me render this thing. And once the image is uploaded, we wanna render this part and not this one. So we have to put our conditionals over there. And before doing anything, we want to hook it, our progress. So initially it is, it is set to zero. And now once the file is uploading, how we are going to use this, our X use in order to handle our file uploads. So in our configuration, it takes a third parameter and that's if I press on progress, upload, and this will give me an event and let me console those a console that event one by one so upload event in angular this part was way too hard it took me quite a bit to figure out but in axios it was so easy like a cakewalk so let's see what happens and currently it is rendering our that part and if we have something inside our uploaded image if it is a not empty then it will not render anything uh, so I'm gonna put my condition over there if that is there then render this other though otherwise render this part uh, later we have to put one more condition so now you can see we have nothing there as I click put that and you can see that we are getting our upload events so now we can if I if I expand this part okay let me instead of this whole thing this took this can take a just a bit to upload but in my OBS we have one project let me clear that and upload it and now you can see that it is giving me one by one upload progress event how much has been uploaded and once that is uploaded it gives me the image path so now what I can do okay let me quickly refresh the page and if now I upload one thing, I'm gonna expand one. So I'm just waiting for that. This has a total. So this is a total byte size, how much we have, how much we, how much is the size of the chunk and how much is loaded. So we are interested in these two fields. So we are getting everything from our, this event part that we have and let me quickly delete these things whatever we have in our uploads so that we don't recopy each other 
everything. And I'm going to destructure this event into loaded as well as total. So I I'm interested in this part, loaded and total. So there's a simple mathematics, I would say. And in that, we'll be simply looking for total, actually loaded upon total. And when multiplied by 100, this will give me the percentage. And this whole thing has to be fixed because it can give a lot of digits. So I'm going to use mathematics function to fix and round it to the decimal places. Okay, and once we are done uploading our images, we are again set upload progress to set upload progress, actually set progress to zero once we are done uploading our images and now we can bind this loader this up set prog this up this progress value with our this part what do we have over here so instead of this progress value we'll be rendering our progress and here also we'll be rendering it and now let's save it and see how it looks so let me quickly go here nothing is there and now if I click I upload one video and now it is uploading one by one with a chunk. So that's it for now. But this was a video, that's why we couldn't see it anywhere. And let me get rid of this video that we don't want to exist, uh, stay in the server if it is not on the development. And now we can upload anything here. For the filters, you can check for the file format. If it is file format, you can abort that. But that's fine for us now. That looks nice actually I would say so that's basically it about this uploader single upload component and in the next video we'll start looking into how we can upload multiple images into that uh, multiple images component also so stay tuned guys with my channel and in the next video I hope you see coming with a more enthusiasm to learn more about this thing thank you guys